In this corner of Surrey, there's a barber with a cool head for business and a long list of footballing clients. Ahmed has become the World Cup's unofficial hairdresser after giving cuts to half of the France squad. They just dropped me a text, really. Can you come out? I said, yeah. They booked me my flight and I was out there. In 24 hours, done 13 people and come back the following day. Man came all the way from London just to see his brother and make him fresh. I've been cutting Paul Pogba's hair for a year now. So we go from bleaching the hair, doing a pattern, putting colour in his hair. And then now we've just gone for a simple look, just no colour, just short. And then it could change next week. <laughs> World Cup haircuts have come a long way over the years, from David Beckham's mohawk to Chris Waddle's unforgettable mullet. And what about this, Ronaldo's little triangle? Still today, players are very particular about their hair. Shaped up. Mm. I mean, some people might say that footballers should be more focused on their feet. It's a confidence thing. If they come out on the pitch, there's millions of people watching them. If it was me, if I was a footballer, and millions of people watching me, I'd rather look good than not good. So, and that's what a haircut does. The former Chelsea captain, John Terry, was Ahmed's first famous customer. Now he's wanted by all of the big names. Well, almost. Yeah, yeah. Do you think Cristiano Ronaldo might call you up to cut his hair one day? Hopefully, he needs to call me up. <laughs> we could do a lot with that hair. In the meantime, the big English clubs keep lining up. Chelsea, United, West Ham, Tottenham, like, you name it, I'll probably cut a player, yeah. Have you cut any players' hair from Barnet? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's back to Russia on Tuesday at the request of Eden Hazard and others in the Belgian team. But before that... Right then, Ahmed, what do you recommend? Bleach your hair and put a pattern of the World Cup trophy. Sounds good. Let's go. John Einmunger, BBC London News.